Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. My brothers and sisters in Islam, what we don't think about the life hereafter is because every one of us thinks the process of death is very easy. Every one of us thinks that the process of dying and death is very simple, very easy and very straightforward. You just feel bad one day and then suddenly the angel of death comes and say, please come out, come out and you come out just like honey come out of a vessel. Is this what we think life and death is? Is this what we think death is? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam swore upon Allah and he said, verily death has its trials, verily death has its tribulations. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he was passing away, he was putting his hands into a bucket and wiping his forehead, then putting his hands again into the bucket, wiping his forehead. La ilaha illallah. He used to say, Oh Allah, there is no God but you. Inni ala sakarat al maut. Oh Allah, help me from the trials of death. This is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who at the moment of his death was tested by Allah azawajal. If this is what was happening to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, do we think by Allah we will have a good death? My brothers and sisters in Islam, ever since I have been a medical doctor, I have never seen a single patient of mine have a good death. I have never seen a single patient have a beautiful, what we would describe as a beautiful death. Every single patient of mine, every single patient by Allah that I have seen, both as a junior doctor and as a senior doctor, I've seen them have difficult deaths by Allah. We had to calm them with medicine. We, used to, we had to give them hyacinth bromide to stop the gurgling of their mouth. We had to give them morphine upon morphine because of the pain of their death by Allah. We had to sedate them, we had to calm them by Allah. And sometimes Allahul Mustaan, we had to let them die. We had to let them die simply because there was nothing else we could do for these people. They were just too sick and they were all passing away. My brothers and sisters in Islam, there is nothing called an easy death. There is nothing called a simple death. There is nothing called a painless death by Allah unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets you die in his path in jihad. There is nothing called a painless death, my brothers and sisters in Islam. Indeed, life and death has its difficulty. Indeed, death and dying has its problems and its difficulties, brothers and sisters in Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises us and tells us. And when the soul has reached the throat, and indeed we are closer to it than anyone else, or my angels are closer to it than anything else, as a tafsir of this verse mentions. And indeed, if you are not from those people that are obliged by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to listen to this religion and to pray and to fast, and to listen to this prophet that came to you, Tarji'unaha, return the soul back into its body in Kuntum Sadiqeen. If indeed you are truthful, if indeed my brothers and sisters, we are truthful, let's return it back by Allah. My brothers and sisters in Islam, how many times have I stood next to my patients when suddenly the alarm would go off? Suddenly the alarm would go off. And by Allah, everyone would start screaming, the patient's dying. But Allah, how many times I am an emergency doctor. I happen to be at the point of call of the most important emergencies that happen in the hospital. This is my speciality. This is what I do. And that is why I happen to be at the time of death at every single patient trying to do my best to save that life. My brothers and sisters in Islam, I am telling you by Allah, it is a distressing situation. But Allah, death is a distressing situation. But Allah, death is difficult. But Allah, do not ever think you're going to have an easy death. But Allah, Allah only gives an easy death to those who will. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.